Um. Oh God, dude. If Coach Redpill doesn't die in jail in Ukraine, he will come back to the United States, the most un- insufferable fucking person that has ever lived. Uh, because he is now like a a martyr journalist. <laughs> He somehow become like a murder journalist in the United States. Elon Musk and Tucker Carl Tucker Carlson interviewed Coach Redpill's father, and um, Coach Redpill's father talked about how he was such a hero and just trying to do free speech and shit in Ukraine. And then Elon Musk personally promoted this and asked Joe Biden directly on Zitter, "Where is Gonzalo Lira?" An American citizen is in prison in Ukraine after we sent over $100 billion. Is there more to this story than simply criticizing Zelensky? If that's all it is, then we have a serious problem here. President Zelensky, please educate the American people about this matter. So he also tagged Zelensky and said, by the way, uh, this guy is in jail for free speech and shit. What the fuck is going on? Uh, and then also specifically tagged uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, wake up. Coach Red Pill, white women or dogs, yeah, Joe Biden. So now we may see the release of of uh, Coach Red Pill. May he have mercy on the Kiwi Farms <laughs> when when he is released as the hero of the American Republic and given the journalist reward. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. I never would have predicted Coach Red Pill being the um the most noteworthy journalist of in the last 10 years when uh, he was making videos about how men should move to Africa and fuck black women. (laughs) I did not have the, I, I, I'm usually pretty good at predicting stuff. I did not manage to predict that coach red pill would become a famous journalist. (laughs) <laughs> Dude, I can't even think about Coach Red Pill. I think did they get rid of that tranny? Um, the the Ukraine tranny who is like uh an American um who voluntarily moved to Ukraine in the war to be like the spokes tranny for the military. Is is he still gone for good? I gotta look this up. Um, Ukraine Defense Force spokesperson to the West. Defense U? Is this it? No, we don't see any tranny pictures on this. What? What? Remind me, what did they get rid of that tranny for? He, he transitioned, didn't hire him back. They forced the trans. Did, did they really force him to detransition? <gasps> no way. Really? Oh, he, that's right. He threatened a U.S. senator. That's I remember. Did he really detrans, dude? How did I? How did I not know this? How did nobody tell me this? What's the name of the post? The, what's his Zitter account? Is he still making zits under like a? It was like spokes, spokesperson, person Ukraine. Yeah, he was. He was. Um, there was a senator who who made some kind of comment about. Um, I can't remember what it was, but the tranny came out and said, basically, like implied to him. Some shit, and that freaked them out because uh, yeah, Slava Ukraini, Sarah Ashton Cirillo. Okay, let's see if we can find this real quick. Sarah Ashton LV personal page current. He did, dude. That's crazy. See, and you guys. You guys aren't supporting Ukraine, but they've found the way to, they found the cure to being a tranny through the power of enhanced interrogation techniques. They've managed to convert Sarah Ashton Cirillo 
back to a man. And you guys thought we were sending them billions, hundreds of billions of dollars, but for what purpose? Well, they found the cure. So we should be thanking them. Thank you. Slava Ukrainian shit, motherfucker. They, they, they cracked the code with, with <laughs> all it took was a hundred volts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing thank you for watching this clip this is the CACA Lofa remember to like and subscribe